Gold Cup this. They're headed by number one, Cy Borgo, who's blinkered for the first time today. Timmy Murphy in the saddle and nine to one, Cy Borgo. Seymour Business, last year's winner, seven to four under Joe Tizard. Go Ballistic at 16 to one, the mount of Richard Johnson. The favourite is Cypher Malta, the Murphy's Gold Cup winner, six to five on favourite under Tony McCoy. And Ruggiero, the French challenger, blinkered 14 to one, Adam Condrat in the saddle. Surprise. Timmy Murphy, I'm sure, will get on well with him. A fascinating race. How will Seymour Business jump? Will Cy for more to stay the trip? Is Cyborg go back to his best? Or indeed, go ballistic? And what's the French horse like? Simon. <laughs> so many questions. So swing left-handed past the stand. Uh, Cyborg is in front with Cypher Malta, his uh, stable mate, anchored in last place. So many questions and a few answers coming up in the next five minutes as they run down the back straight then. Cyborgo, past winner of the Stayers Hurdle here, the festival. Clear of Seymour Business in second place, then Go Ballistic, Ruggiero, French Horse. So one of the next, the first down the back and Cypher Malta held up in last place. On towards the water jump now. They jump 21 fences over three miles, one and a half furlongs here on the new course. It is the Gold Cup course. A bit short in the Gold Cup as they jump the water jump. And it's Cyborgo. Linkered for the first time this afternoon as they approach this next obstacle, an open ditch from Cyborgo. Seymour Business rather pottered into it in second place. Let's check the SPs. As they continue down the back, Cypher Malta, the 11 to 10 on favourite. Seymour Business at 7 to 4 as they approach another plain fence. Cyborgo jumping within the lead, 8 to 1. And Ruggiero and Go Ballistic, the two outsiders at 16 to 1. They swing left handed then on the far side towards another open ditch now. And it's Cyborgo in front. A few problems over the last 12 months or so. Of course, he was pulled up in the Shelton Gold Cup last year, just that point in fact, for that last fence, which uh, caused the incident involving Seymour Business, who was carried out as they approached this next plane one, all jumping soundly. Good jump by Cypher Malta in last place, as they now reach the highest point on the course. And it's Cyborgo by about five or six lengths to Seymour Business, then Ruggiero in third, and Adam Condrat, the fellow's old rider. And then go Ballistic in fourth place and finally Cypher Malta. Taken slightly downhill the next, can be tricky. They clear it well and it's Cyborgo who continues with a big lead. One thing he's got uh, for sure, as opposed to his stable mate Cypher Malta, is stamina in abundance, Cyborgo. He wouldn't be a horse to give too much rope to as they jump the next. Cyborgo from Seymour Business, Aguero in the yellow headgear. And the sheepskin nose band, all the appliances in third place, go ballistic in fourth, and finally Cypher Malta. So it's been a pretty quiet first circuit as they turn back towards the stands in this pillar property chase. And Cyborgo has made it all so far for nearly a circuit, but can he lead for another? Seymour Business, the outside in second place. John and John, uh, Seymour Business seems to be jumping all right at the moment. Yeah, he's been really neat. He got in closer uh, to two or three fences, which he did there. And I think Joe Tizard will be giving him a good crack around the backside in a minute because it's fine going along here. They've just been going a nice, even gallop. But if you want him to make a bit of ground up instead of losing a bit, that's more like it. Just uh, stood off probably when he wasn't even ready for it on that occasion. But I think when the race quickens up this, you'll find that Seymour Business jumps a little bit better. French horse going well enough in third. A little bit uh, careful over the first couple of fences, but really settled into the swing of things. Cypher Walters settled beautifully, John. He, he, he obviously, Tony, uh, wanted to drop him out last, and uh, he's really relaxed, it seems, been jumping well. And they go then towards the next. The pace just improving slightly as they take the first down the back and uh, Seymour Business was a bit lazy going into that one and uh, just uh, niggled along slightly on the outside in second place as they approach the water jump, Cyborgo, Seymour Business, careful there, Ruggiero in third, 
That is closing up go Ballistic and Cypher Malta. He's trying to wind it up in front a little bit now, Timmy Murphy on Cyborg Go as they approach this next open ditch. J leader jumped it well. And uh, a mistake there by go Ballistic, who's dropped back to last. Interesting, Cypher Malta making very smooth headway and going very strongly indeed on the outside as they take the next plane one. And uh, go Ballistic again, another mistake there. That's costing him dear as the tap is turned on now, rising on the far side towards this big open ditch. Cyborgo by about four lengths to see more business. Cypher Malta towards the outside, getting a very clear view of this obstacle, fiddled it. And then Ruggiero and go Ballistic. On towards another plain one then. And this is number 17 of the 21 coming up. And Cyborgo has been in front all the way, approaching it and clears it by a couple of lengths. Seymour business again, brushed through the top. It wasn't a, a particularly good effort, and he gets a reminder there. He's looking very lazy, Seymour business to me. Cypher Malta traveling much more smoothly in third place as they now swing left-handed and begin to run downhill towards the next obstacle. This is four out there coming to. Cyborgo, Seymour Business, better there. Cypher Malta out wide, then go Ballistic, and the Frenchman has now cried enough, Ruggiero, as they run downhill, and now they're really racing, and it's Cyborgo in front, but look at Cypher Malta, who's still traveling very well indeed in the hands of Tony McCoy. Seems to have a double handful approaching this one. Good jump, Cypher Malta, landed in front from Cyborgo. Go Ballistic, the outside. Side. Seymour Business now has got work to do in fourth place as they approach the final turn then with two fences left to jump still a long way from the finish and don't forget the hill and this is where it could count for the leader Cypher Malta as he goes into uncharted territory now down the straight they go Cypher Malta Cyborgo the far side go ballistic Seymour Business is rallying in third now but still with more ground to make up Cypher Malta hit that hard go ballistic given a chance now He's come right there after a couple of sloppy leaps on the far side. One left to go. Cypher Malta and Go Ballistic, they're really travelling. Cypher Malta was brilliant at the last. Go Ballistic trying very hard in second place. Now they run up the hill. Will Cypher Malta see it out? Go Ballistic stays well in second, but Cypher Malta, he's shifting right-handed, but he's still galloping forwards, and he's going to go on and win the Pillar Property Chase. Cypher Malta wins again at Cheltenham. In second, Go Ballistic. Seymour Business, Frank Frankly, disappointing, I thought, in third place. Cyborgo in fourth then. And those were the only four to finish because the French horse Ruggiero was pulled up before jumping the second last. It goes to the favourite, Cypher Malta, 11 to 10 on favourite. Consolation for the pipe team for the fall of unsinkable boxer in the last race. Cypher Malta, winner of the Murphy's Gold Cup here in November. Now the winner of the Pillar Property Chase here in uh, January. And could he win the Gold Cup in March? Well, it was a good trial. They went a slow gallop early on, but he stayed the three miles, one and a half furlongs pretty well off a sluggish early pace today. Shifted right going up the hill, but won decisively in the end. On favourite, second number three, Go Ballistic, 16 to one. Third number two, Seymour Business at seven to four. The win tote, 190, places 150 and 250. Dual forecast, 960, and the straight forecast, 12.